So test time is like the most horrifying time you can imagine for us, okay? You just have to lay sort of quiet and hope that you're not picked up and slowly rubbed down on paper until you're just a pale example of who you used to be. Where am I? Oh, uh, you're in the pencil box. Who am I? What, do you have amnesia? Is this, is this amnesia? I don't know what that is. Well, you don't have a name and you don't know where you are. This leads me to believe it's possible you have amnesia. I'm not a doctor. I'm Gordon Putz. I wouldn't consider myself an amnesia fan, but I do love it as a plot point on late 80s, early 90s sitcoms. When Michelle got amnesia on that last episode of Full House, I thought, well, shit, they're going to do it. They're going to go dark in this half hour and they're going to erase their standing as cornball fluffy comedy, you know? But uh, no, she gets cleared up with, with, with like five minutes to go. Full House starts in the last episode. I would have either gone birthday party, somebody turned, say, 60, or just bite the bullet and give Uncle Joey an inoperable brain tumor so we could finally uh, kind of understand why he's been acting like that. <laughs> like a buffoon, you know? Say, how did the mother die anyway? A drunk driver. Gordon said that? Well, I mean, he, he does love, he loves 80s and early 90s sitcoms, so I'll take his word for it. Hey. Hey, quiet. All right, we're trying to hunker down. Hunker down? You know, what is that? It means sitting low, quiet. You give me a real, uh, you give me a vibe. What? What kind of vibe? Am I allowed to say uh, Anne Frank had a vibe, or is no, that is that a no-go? No, no, -go? no I, don't, I don't think you should say that. Well, did I? Did I say it enough just now? I mean, that could really, uh, that could hurt me. Uh, you're fine. You didn't tweet it. It wasn't tweeted. It's not like you pulled a Scott calculator. Tweet? What is a tweet? Uh, it's, you know, the things you do on Twitter. Twitter? I am so out of touch. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know what, what Twitter is or how to tweet, let alone that tweet something offensive. Should I start? Will you shut up? Here's an idea for one. Uh, for what? My tweet. Go ahead. Went to Arby's, got sick. Is that a, is that a, good, is that a good tweet? Yeah, actually, I think that is. Well, I'm on Twitter now, and uh, I'm out there tweeting, so here's one I did uh, while hiding during the test. At the real Donald Trump. Had Arby's, got sick, you? And he tweeted back almost immediately, at Brownie the Crayon, never get sick, great, great stomach, iron stomach, chew like machine, great, great iron, machine. So, you know, that's something going on. I'm afraid. I do not want to die. Yeah, me neither. It's, uh, you know, it's been the whole thing since I got here, you know, just existential dread. I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop. Sometimes I feel like I don't even afford my self-life because I'm just so afraid to die. Hey, Gordon? Can you just, like, go somewhere else for a minute? Okay, buddy, whoa, what are you, like, uh, having this, uh, is this a moment? No, it's not. Well, can you tell me who Greg Kinnear is? Greg Kinnear, yeah, yeah he's, um, oh, how do you explain Greg Kinnear? We're tweeting back and forth, and it's getting, uh, it's getting kind of heated, me and, uh, Greg Kinnear. Well, whatever, I'll, I'll figure it out. When I was first understanding that this is my life, that I am a thing. Excuse me? Wait, did you just develop an accent? Maybe I'm Swedish. Maybe I'm many things I don't understand, because I can't remember. But I know what I don't want to die, okay? It's just, uh, look, if we survive this test thing, and uh, do you want to uh, you, you want to go get dinner or something? I'm not sure, because I understand the idea of dinner, and I like the idea of dinner, but... Oh, but what? So we have nice dinner, me and you. And then I go on tomorrow, and when I open my eyes, maybe I don't remember it. So is it worth having the dinner with the nice golden pots, or will it forever be fleeting? I mean, wow, you know, that's that's heavy stuff, and I wonder if I'm even able to understand it, or have anything to say after it. Is having dinner with me, Gordon Potts, forever fleeting? How do I answer that? What do I say? I don't think it's fleeting. Of course you don't, because you are Gordon Potts. So, he, then he tweets back at me, at Brownie the Crayon, why don't you take your idea for Tiny Spoon Store and shove it up your at sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, and I tweet it back, at Greg Kinnear, I have a thousand ideas for stores that can open in neighborhoods that were once poor, but now have a Panera Bread, so it's, uh, it's continuing to get eaten. Uh, when the test ended, it was sudden, it was horrifying, because, uh, what we didn't know is that Shelly had developed, uh, a habit. She chewed my fucking tail off! Everyone make room! She ate me! I don't know, tissue! Please! Please, someone get him the fuck away from me! You are hurt. You are going to die? <sighs> What's going on here? Does this broad have an accent? Her accent, I think, it's confusing me. Is she trying to tell me I'm gonna die or is she asking me if I'm gonna die? You, you gotta stop using terms like broad. Oh, here he comes, Mr. Mr. Fucking Margaret Atwood, Mr. Fucking, what do you, 
What do you call it? Handmaid's Tale? Yeah, it's weird he always remembers Margaret Atwood, but you can never get Handmaid's Tale. Guy brings, like... Guy binges, like, half a season of Handmaid's Tale, and now I can't say brought. You know... Not even after I've been ingested by a child, after a woman bit my tail off, I can't say broad? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, right, I'm sorry about your ass. I shouldn't have. No, you shouldn't have. And can you not say ass, please? Because that's like the whole thing. It's not cool that it was my tail. It was not my ass. I still have my ass. Did you hear about Nikki Jarkonaroga? Bug, I'm Nikki Ticonderoga. He got his ass bitten off. Okay, Bug, please back off. Please get back. What's uh, what's up with you? I was trying to plan dinner with the new eraser, but then uh, Nikki Ticonderoga. Yeah, I've been. I mean, to ask you about that. How much of his actual ass was bitten off? It was his tail. It's being exaggerated. Well, I heard it from Blug. Blug is an old tissue. That's uh, that's right. That is right. I can't argue that. Yeah, I, ju I just feel like with things so heightened in the box now, and you know that. Sort of feeling a dread just lying on top of everything. Oh no, it's dark in here. I mean, our leader has basically been, uh, and I swear I didn't mean this as a pun, but assassinated. <laughs> oh god, that's rich. So yeah, I mean, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, alright, maybe tomorrow.